come off an, an injury with Joe. So, you know, we're going to do what's appropriate, um, not only in terms of his level of health and competence, but also, you know, the co competitive aspect of it. Um, you know, our goal is to win the game. And if Joe's capable of being a part of that, and, and then obviously we'd be excited about it. You know, I think that'll be revealed to us as the game unfolds. You know, we have no bearing over how they cover 10 or cover Juju or what that does and how that affects the coverage of others. Uh, so that'll be revealed to us. I know that having quality playmakers in a variety of positions help you versus a group that's, that's capable of dominating, particularly situational football in the ways that they do. Um, I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of attention paid toward Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, for example, on third downs and in the red zone. So to have the guys that you mentioned and have them being capable playmakers obviously aids us. In what ways did not have any deep threat like Martavis limit you guys against them this year? We had deep threats last year. They just weren't named Martavis. You know, Sammy Coates was the name of one. Darius Hayward Bay was the name of another. Guys that we threw the ball to deep down the field in game. You know, um, I'm not worried about that end of it. I'm more concerned about what it is that we do. And under the, the framework of what I said earlier, you know, they're really good. They got great continuity. Tom Brady's Tom Brady. Man, you can talk all day about that. You know, what are we going to do at the line of scrimmage prior to the ball snap, snapping? What are we going to do to improve our overall readiness and detail in our play? Um, I think there, therein lies the discussion. You can waste a lot of man hours and get a not, a lot, not a lot accomplished uh, worrying about what he's going to do prior to the snap or appreciating what he's capable of doing prior to the snap. Mike, how much uh, will you look at the tape of their game last night to see what Miami did successfully against them? You know, I'll look at it, but I won't weight it any differently than the others. Uh, this is a group that's capable, like I said earlier, of, of changing their personality and thoughtfully so. Um, last night's game was good for Miami. Uh, they were able to put together a winning formula um, for the variables that they had versus the variables that New England had. Uh, New England was without Grunk. And uh, so it's a different ball game when you're talking about one of the most dynamic, you know, players of this generation. Forget tight ends of this generation. So, um, you know, it's something to look at, but nothing to hang your hat on in terms of building a plan. Speaking of tight 